One year had passed since Professor Charles Xavier's apparent demise, a tragic event sparked by Henry Peter Gyrich's treacherous assassination attempt. Believed dead, Xavier had actually embarked on an intergalactic journey with the alien Shi'ar, leaving behind a legacy of hope and unity. In his absence, the X-Men continued to champion his dream, protecting both mutants and humans from the forces of hatred and fear. Their unwavering dedication had earned them a remarkable distinction, legal sanctioning by the United Nations. Empowered by this recognition, the X-Men rescued Roberto da Costa, a young mutant from the clutches of the anti-mutant extremist group, friends of humanity who had exploited sentinel technology for their nefarious purposes. To track down Bolivar Trask, the mastermind behind the Sentinels, the X-Men visited Gyric in his prison cell. Jean Grey, harnessing the power of Cerebro, delved into Gyrich's mind, uncovering Trask's hidden location, the desolate Jung Yard in the Sahara. However, her probing also unearthed a chilling premonition, a glimpse of a future fraught with peril. Undaunted, the X-Men launched a daring raid on the Jung Yard, dismantling the remnants of the Sentinels and destroying the Master Mold's supercomputer. Trask was taken into custody, his sinister plans foiled once again. In the aftermath, Cyclops and a pregnant Jean Grey announced their decision to leave the X-Men, seeking a safer life to raise their child. But their farewell was short-lived as Magneto, their former adversary, appeared with a stunning revelation. Xavier's last will and testament had entrusted him with control of the X-Men and the School for Mutants. The stage was set for a new era, one filled with uncertainty and possibility.